I've decided to clean the carburetor on the Gravely tractor and I'm going to show you how to do that today. The first thing I'm going to do is take off these two screws or bolts here and fortunately they're coming off easy today. Next I'm going to remove the crankcase venting hose here. It's just snapped in there like a grommet. Then you've got the fuel line over here. I'm going to cut it because I am replacing it. It'll be easier than pulling on it. The fuel should stop flowing because there is a fuel pump. Now you can turn the carb over like this and remove the 5 16 bolt here which holds the choke cable. You don't have to remove the bolt completely, just enough to get the cable out. And then just remove it. Now the last thing to remove is the throttle linkage right here and be very careful that you don't bend it out of place. So you're gonna have to work it out like this sideways and then it's gonna come out. Carb off on my worktop. I'm gonna start by removing this screw and the nut here with a 7 16 wrench. It makes it easier to remove the ball if this is removed first. Be a bit of gas coming out. Next you want to remove the jet that's in here with a good flat screwdriver, not too wide. and the long rod will come out. This is especially what we have to make sure is clean. We'll get to that later. Now I'm going to remove the four screws on the top here which hold the ball. Now once you've got all the four screws removed just pry up gently. And it's going to come out like that. Amazingly, it looks pretty clean in there. The float looks really good. I'm going to take it off and shake it to make sure there's no fuel inside of it. Inside the bowl here, there's just a little bit of dirt, not much. So now I'm going to remove the float. Just push the pin out, grab it with some pliers, and pull right out and it will come out and the needle is going to come out with it. The way to know if your float's still good is grab it and shake it by your ear. If you don't hear any fuel inside of it then it's good. If you hear fuel inside of it that means it's leaking, fuel got in and it's not going to function properly. This one's good so I'm going to keep I'm it. also going to remove this adjusting screw here which I believe is the air mixture screw. First I'm going to turn in to see how many turns it's out. So almost four turns out. So when I put it back on, that's what I'm going to set it at. And then readjust my car back to that. So I'm going to take it off, see if it's clean. It looks pretty clean. So for now what I'm going to do is spray some cleaner inside the bowl here. It's not that dirty so I'm not going to go too crazy. I'm going to spray some where the seat is. And I'm going to spray some through the hole of that screw I just took out. Let that sit for half an hour or so. And the other adjusting screw I'm going to count out the turns on that one. And it's three and a half turns, so I'm going to take it right out of the nut. I'll make sure that the o-ring under there is still good. I'm going to take it out. I'm not going to spray the o-ring with cleaner, I'm going to separate it. So now I'm going to spray these parts here. This emulsion tube jet combination whatever it's called I'm going to spray some inside of there 
let it sit, and then come back to it about half hour later. And I've decided to spray the float as well, just to clean off any corrosion on there. Okay, I'm back. My parts have been sitting for half an hour. So at this point here, I'm going to start by cleaning inside the seat there. Sprayed more card cleaner in there. I'm going to grab a piece of shop towel, a very small screwdriver, and insert the towel into the seat. And then just turn it, just to try to get the dirt out. Make sure you do not leave pieces of towel or rag down in that hole. Just wipe off the float here. Any film of dirt will come off. Just wipe off the dirt off the card parts. You can run this under a wire brush. Take off the gasket first if you're going to run it on a wire brush. Now the most important one that needs to be really clean is the long rod with the jet in it with the small holes. So you got to make sure that all these little holes here are clean. First I'm going to run it on my wire brush. Clean the holes, you want a tiny wire which you can get out of a twist tie or a wire brush. And then run the wire through all the little holes that you're going to come across. This one's going right through, which is good. It wasn't too, too dirty, so I'm not going to go too crazy. You can see through, so that's clean. And in the center, it looks pretty clean. You can also run a bigger wire right through onto the other side if you suspect it's dirty and this is clean so put a rag in there to clean the bowl and move it around with the screwdriver when you're all done doing this air blow your carburetor with your air compressor now I've cleaned the screw that goes on top here with the wire brush and I believe it was out at three and a half turns or something like that 